Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This video is going to be an update version to the previous uh, delete vs remove video which I have uh, created. The reason is because some uh, users keep asking um, where is the remove feature? We cannot find it. Uh, it took me some time to understand why they're asking it. So uh, now I've decided to create a new video. So let's start. Okay, first let's do a quick recap. Uh, what is delete and what is remove? What's the difference between them? Now, if you delete an element, uh, if it can, it can be a body, it can be a sketch, it can be also a, um, a construction uh, plan. From uh, the timeline, what's happened, you delete it from the whole timeline. And if you remove a feature, or an element from the timeline, you are removing it from a specific point in the timeline only, and but without affecting what happened before. And it sounds a little bit confusing, so let me show you. I'm just gonna create a new file so you can see the whole process. I'm gonna create the first component. So let's start from here. And I'm just going to create a rectangle and it's going to be this one like that. Finish the sketch and we're going to extrude it. Okay. So we have a sketch and we have an extrusion. Now what we're going to do, we're going to create a new component. And that component, I'm going to create a new offset plan. And I'm going to use the first component as a reference. Now I'm going to uh, create a sketch on this one. And let's create, uh, let's create another one, which is, uh, you know what? I'm going to create it so it's not right there. It's going to be somewhere here and it's smaller. Go to the extrude. I'm going to put it here. And there is another little thing which I wanted to add. I'm going to add some dimensions. So I'm going to dimension this one to here. And here and to the bottom you know what let's do all the sides so now it's fully constrained because I didn't dimension the uh, the rectangle itself I use the outside okay so now we have let's go to the root components so we have this is the original and then we're using it as a reference and we're creating the small one. Now, if, if we're going to do a, let's just say, I don't need the first component anymore. I don't need it. Um, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to delete it. And let's see what's going to happen. I'm going to right click on it and hit delete. Then I got this warning, this feature is referenced by other features in the timeline. Are you sure you want to delete it? I'm just going to click yes. And then I got this yellow um, mark here. This is a warning. So what happened is we have created something. Then we use it as a reference. I've used it for the plan and for the sketch, as you can see here. And now it's gone. So I have deleted it completely from the whole history. Now, let's go back and right click on it again and say remove. What happened now? I've just removed it from this point and on. That's it. It still exists in the past, but it's not going to exist in the future anymore. I would say generally try not to use uh, be careful when you're doing especially when you're doing delete uh, it's have to be something that you know that 
hundred percent you're not using it for any kind of reference yeah, otherwise what i would do in that situation i would say you know what i'm gonna create here a uh, new um, or i'm gonna create some kind of a folder um, if it's for example a body that i don't need which i'm gonna call it uh, see a new um, call a new group so like a new folder um, and then give it some kind of a name then you can select it uh, you know uh, hide it and then put it inside and that's it and nobody's gonna see it call it unnecessary bodies or something like that okay and that's it that's that's for you know being on the on the safe side now in regards to why some of you cannot see uh, the remove uh, option that is simply because when in this situation here as the environment is set up in my case it's always opened in a design history mode but if you are in direct mode I'm going to change it to direct mode and I want to delete something, uh, remove something as you can see there is nothing to remove because the remove it's a feature which based on timeline okay and since in direct mode we're not working in timeline we don't have past or we don't have future so you have only delete and that's it so this is the reason why sometimes you might see the remove and sometimes you are not going to see the remove like here because you are in the direct uh, mode, uh, mode so you're not going to see the remove you're going to see only one uh, option delete but in the um, history um, or timeline mode then because we have a timeline so you have two options you can either remove it completely from the timeline or sorry delete it completely or you can remove it from that point on so that's what happened if i do or if i go even uh, back to oh, let's go to here i'm gonna see i'm gonna remove it from here see no problem because it's still you can see here yeah from now on you're not gonna see now you can see the arrow it says that it's actually still exists in the past so it's not gonna affect the uh, references and that is the difference between delete and remove so be careful when you use them as i said if you're really not uh, sure if you want to delete it or not just hide it put it in a separate folder where you're putting also maybe other bodies which you are not using uh, but maybe you use them as tools and uh, to subtract from other bodies and so on um, but remember if you don't have the timeline then you're in direct mode usually it happens when you're importing an existing uh, for example files um, then that's what you you're gonna go into um, for example an IGS file then you're gonna be in direct mode but if you're starting a new file usually it's gonna start in a uh, yeah timeline mode or history based time mode and then you're gonna have these two options so this is it uh, if you have any questions uh, don't forget to add it into the comment and i'll see you in the next video bye bye